Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my December empties. So I kind of do an empties video every kind of three months. And oh my God, do I have a lot of products today to get through. So I'm not gonna waste any time and I'm just gonna get on with this video. So guys, hair care seems to dominate my empties in the last couple of times. And as you'll have noticed, I've gone kind of like, I don't know, balayage, dragged root. I don't know what you call it. Basically my poor hair was screwed screaming for me to stop using bleach on it. It's just, it's so dry, it's so unhappy, regardless of what I've been using on it. It's just like, yeah, my hair is not happy at all. So in the last couple of months, I've really been trying to use really great products on it and try and keep it in, in tip top condition. But the last straw was to just not bleach it. So the last time I went into my hairdressers, I have an amazing hairdresser called Jill. She's in L number five in Selbridge. And the last time I went in, she didn't do, and she had a couple of highlights kind of like around my face and around here. Kind of concentrated on getting my hair at the root back to kind of close to my natural color. Um, and I'm just gonna let it grow for as long as I possibly can. I was joking with her and I was like, I'll probably be back in like May for my highlights. I love, love being blonde, but, if I have no hair, I can't be any colour, so I need to realise that. In the spirit of hair care, the next six products are actually going to be hair related. So I think I already spoke about Pureology last time. This is the shampoo. I think I might have spoken about the conditioner. I absolutely love Pureology. It's all I use. It's all I use and then I'm going to show you other stuff. In terms of like my week to week, this is a constant in my collection for my hair. At the moment I'm using the Hydrate one, so it's the one in the blue packaging and this is the perfect for platinum shampoo and conditioner. So I do love Pureology and that is in my empties and I've already repurchased another version of that but I like Pureology simply because I don't know I just feel like with Pureology that I'm putting less rubbish in my hair just to make it look good I just I don't know maybe I'm wrong but I just feel like I'm probably doing my hair better justice using this product than any other one. The other thing that I have that I won't be needing anymore, well, not really, um, is my silver shampoo. This one was was from Schwarzkopf and it is in their live. You can't see it there, it's all mushed up. But it is their live range and this is just uh, purple shampoo, simple as. I don't find any particular purple shampoo better than another. Um, I just don't, I don't know, they just don't work for me. But I was bold and I used to leave these in for like half an hour to really get the blonde to come up in my hair. Because I'm very warm toned, I've naturally got red hair, so that's very, very similar to my natural color. I am warm toned and I always found that blonde, or like that kind of icy blonde, never stayed like past Past when my toner went out of my hair, my hair never stayed that kind of like nice bright blonde. So I used to go to town on this. And I know using this is part of the problem that I now have with my hair, with how dry it is and whatnot. But it's fine because we're rectifying it. It is okay. Um, another product then again, um, sim in a similar vein to that purple shampoo, are these bleach blonde shots. Um, ice white cool shots. And it's basically at home toner. Um, I'm not too sure if my hairdresser would be happy if I told her I was using these. But um, yeah, like these were fine. I never really, like I couldn't say that I was like, wow, amazing. It's so much better than the toner in the salon. It's not like you get four little containers or four little sachets of them. Uh, they're the Lee Stafford brand and they're fine. You get them in boots. They're grand. Again, if you were running out of your purple shampoo, it'd get you out of a pinch. Um, I don't, for the for the simple reason that I'm trying not to put anything like that in my hair at the moment, I won't be using these again in the foreseeable future. Here, I have another empty Olaplex. I showed you one of these back a couple of months ago. Um, I use this once a week. So I basically use this once a week and uh, conditioning treatment once a week. Guys, I like, I don't know if this works. And I'm not sure what I said about it in my last empties. I probably said it was amazing. But when I looked really, really critically at my hair and my hair was still in shit and I was using this, I don't know, like, I don't know. Does anyone have any experiences with Olaplex where you had like an amazing, you know, transformation of your hair? Because I haven't with this. I've kind of been using it as a, this is supposed to do what it's supposed to do, so I'll use it, as opposed to I use this because I've gotten good results from it. Does that make sense? And these damn things are so expensive. Like, I hate to even say the price of this. This is about, I would say 40 euro for this 100 ml bottle. Insane, absolutely insane. I don't know whether or not I will be repurchasing Olaplex, 
my salon currently uses my salon my salon <laughs> the salon that i go to currently uses smart bond so i might just kind of like go towards the smart bond because that is something that my hairdresser often uses in my color as well to protect my hair so i might try smart bond but at the moment like olaplex do you work do you work i don't know I don't know. The next thing is a Biolage hair mask. And I got this on recommendation from one of the girls I used to work with who said it was amazing. And it is, it's a fabulous um, hair mask for dry hair. And what I loved about this is that you could put it into your hair. For me, like I've naturally kind of like, I would have had very, very curly hair when I was younger. And now it kind of doesn't curl, it goes kind of wavy. And then it kind of goes a bit straight. It goes a bit all over the place. But if I, I could put this in as like, almost like a mousse and just wear it throughout the day and have the conditioner in my hair and then wash it out that night or the next day. So that's what I was doing. I was doing like one one part of the week I'd use Olaplex, the next part of the week I would put in a conditioner for anything up to like eight hours um, trying to kind of revive my hair. It didn't really work. <laughs> so I got this on Beauty Bay and I got it during the summer and I think it was about maybe 10 or 12 euro, like very, very good on price. And like I say, you can get it on Beauty Bay. So give it a go, like you can't go wrong. I always have about two or three pots of conditioner that I use in my hair, like all the time at different times. The final hair product is dry shampoo. And again, this is a very controversial product. Some people say, don't be using dry shampoo, but I'm sorry, I'm not washing my hair like a million times a week. It's not happening. And I don't use it that often, to be completely honest. I really liked this dry shampoo and I'm probably in the minority of people who I just do not like Batiste. I just don't. I don't like it at all and I really liked this Schwarzkopf one. It's called, it's got to be and it's Fresh It Up. Fresh It Up dry shampoo. And I just found that it worked but it smelled really, really nice and I could smell it in my hair all throughout the day and I really liked the fragrance. I think that's about the Batiste ones. I think I haven't found a fragrance that I like um, and I just find that it always leaves me with a white cast in my hair and this didn't do this. It was no white residue and I could smell the fragrance all throughout the day and it was just, it just made my hair feel really, really fresh. Naturally enough, it takes you through a work day and then you wash your hair that night. It's not a like day after day solution to dirty hair, no. <laughs> um, but I really, really liked this. I didn't repurchase it because I actually bought the Moroccan oil dry shampoo because I heard so many people rave about it. So I got that to try it out and yeah i wouldn't be against buying this in the future so the next portion of products kind of fall into the skincare range my la roche posay tolerine softening softening a foaming gel i think i mentioned this in another empties i always repurchase this i absolutely love it i'm crazy about la roche posay as a brand i think they're brilliant um and this is just a lovely just, I, I always, always, always have to wash my face. I don't do wipes, as you know, um, and I always find that this is great in the shower. And I do find that this is good for taking off eye makeup as well, to be completely honest. So yeah, I will definitely be repurchasing this. It's fantastic. The other thing then is a pure clay detox mask from L'Oreal. This is normally like a gray, or like a, not gray, like a, a really dark green color. It claims to detoxify and clarify your skin. Like guys, I don't know about this. I and the like it is so heavily perfumed that i just question how something so perfumed could be good for your skin but i still used it all up the only thing i would say about this i used this before my wedding and i got a massive spot so whatever it did draw out of my skin i shouldn't have used it like you're always told don't use random things in the run up to your wedding in the week before your wedding but no i did um, i just had some congestion around my nose and i kind of put it all over and i got and you'll never see it in the pictures because my makeup artist used double wear and double wear like covers everything but i had a massive spot here on my face on my wedding day you would never know and i had used this so I always used it with caution afterwards. I didn't find my skin any more like clear after using it. I still have congestion. I still have blackheads, all that kind of thing. So uh, I got it as a present from my sister and I was obviously very happy to get it and to try it, but it's not something that I kind of go back to. Um, I think that there's definitely better masks out there. Yeah, that's the L'Oreal uh, Pure Clay Detox Mask. I used this up finally, finally got to use this up. It's the Bellamy Anti Rapid Mousse in Dark. Um, you know me guys, I kind of don't follow trends in a lot of cases. Um, but I did for this and it wasn't worth it for me. It was fine, it's a nice, like it's fine, it's a tan. I just never wore this tan and thought, wow, that's incredible. 
I just never did. I don't know. It just it, I know people that love it, that literally swear by it. I found that it absolutely stunk to high heaven so much more than other tans. I found it the color was just fine and I also found that it was an absolute biatch to get off my skin um, so I used it up there a couple of weeks ago I was kind of really happy to actually get rid of it and to be able to show it in empties because I just want to just clear stuff out before 2020 begins so yeah Bella Miante wouldn't buy it again there's so much I've spoken about this before in my Bahama body um, video of the Terry McAvoy tan there's so much tan on the market in Ireland and I think if you're going to come out with a product in 2020 don't let it be tan because like why would you bother there's so many cool tans out there this isn't one of them for me I won't be repurchasing this. Sticking with kind of like the body situation, the Sanctuary Body Lotion. Guys, this, and I don't know why I haven't repurchased it yet, but I did get a voucher for boots for Christmas from somebody. Thank you. And I will definitely be buying this. This is so beautiful. So it's green lemon and orange blossom. And the only thing I can describe the smell as being, oh my God, it's like being in a spa. It's like being in a spa. It's not your normal Sanctuary fragrance. And I know Sanctuary have like that signature fragrance that they have in all of their kind of like orange products. But this is a different packaging. Kind of has like the rose gold top and it's all yellow. And this, oh my God, like just, oh my God, this smells so good. So this is just absolutely beautiful. I will 100% be repurchasing this. I might even look and see if they have an oil as well. And I genuinely felt that when I put this on, I could feel my skin more hydrated. And I'm quite fussy about my body lotions because I find that sometimes they can leave you sticky, they can kind of make you sweat, but they don't actually target your dry patches or your dry skin, but this definitely did. So I would 100% recommend this. I'm definitely gonna repurchase this. It's the Sanctuary Spa Green Lemon Orange Blossom Body Lotion Beautiful. And my last product and probably a product that I thought I was gonna throw out before I genuinely finished it, but I actually finished it. And it is a product from Nux, which I don't actually buy a lot of Nux stuff for myself, but I think I got this when I worked in the pharmacy and I got it as a gift. Um, and it's lovely, hand and nail cream with vitamin E. It's um, very nice, a nice product. Would I repurchase it? I didn't purchase it to begin with, so no. <laughs> but would I purchase it? No, I don't think I would. I am in love with L'Occitane for all of their hand creams. So I, I find it difficult to step away from L'Occitane. L'Occitane and Clarins for hand creams is just like, the absolute gold gold standard for me um nooks this was lovely it smelled amazing all nooks smells lovely very luxurious it's a great brand this product for me kind of left my hands feeling a little bit greasy and i hate that in a hand cream i really really don't like it and chalky like greasy first and took ages for it to dry in and then they felt like do you know that chalky feeling like you know you have something on your hands so i brought it like this has been probably to everywhere i've worked for the last six years because I brought it in wherever I worked just to try and use it up and I thought oh my god like I'm totally gonna have to throw this out before I can actually finish it but I didn't I finished it there back a while ago I actually brought it home and started using it as um, kind of like for my elbows and for my knees like before I put on tan or you know when I was prepping for tan so that's how I got to use that up so that is Nux I wouldn't purchase it so guys that is the last empties for 2019 can you believe that that's crazy i'll link all of my other empties videos down below if you want to have a little look at them and just see what i kind of gone through over the over the year i'll have a lot more coming up in 2020 because i want to take very much a minimalistic approach to 2020 with buying products and whatnot as well so yeah there'll be a lot more where this has come from i hope you enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it please 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 give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already i would love if you would subscribe and join my youtube family that i'm trying to grow come along it's a good bit of crack like you know, bit of fun, bit of fun. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.